Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you easy magic tricks with rubber bands. Let's get started. And by the way, if you like and comment on this video, you can email me at the link in the description and I will forward to you a link to a hidden YouTube video that provides you one more bonus trick. Let's get started. Now I use a uh, single strand of a rubber band. I've just cut the rubber band so I have a longer strand. I think it works better. The one hand holds the very end. The other hand holds not the end of the rubber band here because that's what it looks like is that the ring is somehow crawling up the band on its own accord. But the secret is that when you grab the band, you're actually grabbing it, so maybe you just have a small section of band here, and you stretch it out, and then all the rest of the band goes into the hand over here. Now once you have this all stretched out, I'll just do this as the exposed view here. All you're doing is with this finger here, you're just slowly letting go, just slow, slowly releasing pressure and the band actually slips through your fingers right here and the ring just goes along for the ride. So the setup is grab the end of the band, put the ring near the end, grab way up near the top so you just have a little length, stretch it out, hide the rest of this band in your hand, slowly let go of this finger here and thumb and you'll find that the ring will just ride its way up. Just for demonstration purposes I have a mark on this band here which will allow you to see how this works. The ring goes here we're going to use the same setup except we have this mark on the band and of course you wouldn't want to do this in performance. Grab the end here with the with my left hand. Grab the other end here stretch it out and now you can see the mark right there. But see as I release, you can see the ring is just moving. It's just moving with the mark. Because all I'm doing is letting go of the band over on this side. And the ring rises with it. And you have to experiment with different size rubber bands and find the ones that works best for you. And that is the rising ring. Here's how to perform the ring and rubber band trick. You only need a rubber band and a finger ring. Now notice how I have the rubber band looped around my first finger here and my little finger here. And the ring in the other hand. Now, take your first finger here and push the band through the ring. Kind of thread the rubber band through and then put all of your fingers inside of the band. Now take your left hand and expand the band out. Now what you're doing here is it really looks as if that ring has 
penetrated through the rubber band somehow. But what spectators don't see is that the band is actually coming up and is looped through the, the ring twice. So that's how the trick looks. Rest the band on the thumb to get out and then remove the band. I know it's kind of tricky, so I'm going to go through it one more time. Once again, rubber band is looped on the pointy finger and the little finger. Goes through the ring. Put all of the fingers inside here. Take your other left hand fingers and open up the band. And now the rubber band appears to be threaded on the band, rubber band, but as you can see, it actually is doubled back here. Now to get out of this, take your left thumb, rest the band on your right thumb, release the pointy finger on the left hand. Now grab the ring here, the left forefinger and thumb, and the band will release itself from the ring. Here's how to perform the jumping rubber band. Now you'll notice I'm using a hair band. It's because it shows up a little better on camera. Take the hair band, place it on your hand. Now, with your other hand, I'm using my left pointing finger here, I'm pulling it across my hand towards my thumb. Now put all your fingers inside and rest the band along the fingertips there. You're all set up. From the front, it looks as if the band is simply around the little finger and ring finger, but you have this set up and all you have to do is open your hand and the band jumps the other fingers. Now I'm going to reverse the process, but it's the exact same thing. You're going to take the band, pull it the other way, take all of your fingers, rest your fingers, or rest the band on the tips of the finger, from the other side, you can see that it looks as if the band is resting on your first finger and second finger. And all you have to do now is open your hand and the rubber band magically jumps. Now, when you, if you really want to practice, you have to be able to do this setup very quickly. So it should look something like that. And you can see I've already set everything up so it's ready to go. Now, if you really want to practice and do this right, here's something else you can learn to do. Take your thumb here, pull it over, put all your fingers inside. And you've done the setup right there. It's very fast and you don't need a second hand. And then all you have to do is open your hand and the band jumps. Now let's go to variation number two. I have here a second band, and now we're going to make them jump and trade places. It's actually the same thing, but you're combining both moves from the past segment. So you're gonna pull one across, pull the other across, and you'll notice I kind of create a star type shape, but what I'm really interested in is I make a triangle here, and I put all of the fingers inside of that triangle. It's very similar to what we did before, just resting it on the fingertips open and they trade places. It's going to take some practice, but I think I've provided the instruction there so you can be successful with that. And there's one more variation. This time I'm going to take the second band and wind it around the fingers like this. I'm essentially creating a barrier that won't allow the band to jump over. But yet, you can set this up in front of spectators, so it's there and apparently trapped, and it still jumps across. And you can make this jump across back by simply reversing the process. The setup is identical. You just pull it across, put all your fingers inside, and it'll jump to the other side. Now how does it jump? Well, the rubber band is actually taking a path like this. So let's see if I can do that in slow motion for you. So I set it up and then see how it, it actually can make that path. And that is the jumping rubber band with three 
different phases that you can perform. Well, I hope you have fun performing these magic tricks with rubber bands. Please like and please subscribe for more instructional magic videos in the future. And yes, if you comment and like this video, you can email me and I will email you a link to a hidden YouTube video that provides you one more trick. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.